Hey there everyone, it's me, Sarah. I have a nice light bouncing around in my glasses today because if I did not have the light, you would not see my face. I have a beautiful messy desk behind me there, but we don't really care about that that much. I have three children arguing in one room, one child trying to sleep in another room, and today we are going to be talking about the things that I hate that I do with writing, if that makes sense. It is the year 2020 hindsight. 2020 as is the catchphrase of the year for me that is and it's all about looking back at my past writing style my past writing process journey blah blah, blah and trying to see how I can improve going forward and in order to improve I need to talk about the things that I suck at in regards to writing the things that I hate that I do despite the fact I know that I shouldn't do these things but I do them anyway and sort of get it out there in the open to sort of remind myself that I need to stop doing the things. I need to stop doing the things. The first thing that I hate that I do in regards to writing is procrastinate. I am a massive procrastinator. Procrastination is my superpower. My jumper says it all, okay? My jumper says it all. And yeah, I just procrastinate. I, I'm, a, I'm at home most of the day with literally just like a child who naps quite a bit and then I have evenings free to do whatever I want unless I'm at work. But the amount of time that I have available during the day and the time I take during the day to do work related to my writing is sort of... <laughs> I don't do it. I'm so bad. I went into 2020 thinking this is going to be a fun fab year. I'm not going to do anything I used to do in 2019 and my brain's like yeah okay sure. Sure. I I don't know what it is. I think I burn out really easily. I burn out super easily like absolutely super easily and I get stressed really easily so when I get burnt out or I get the little tiniest bit stressed thanks children. It's not all their fault. Um, I don't do any work because I feel like oh, I just need to relax. So I just like troll the internet. And I end up not doing the work I need to do and then I get stressed about the fact I've not done the work I need to do. And then I rush to get it done at the end which burns me out and it's, it's a whole big massive pile that I just can't dig myself out of. But I hate that I procrastinate. I really do. I really do. The second thing that I hate that I do in regards to writing, is that the term I used at the beginning of this video, is compare myself. I think every writer does it really. They all compare themselves to someone else, usually someone else on whatever platform you happen to be on, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram. I, I know why I do this. I know why I do this. First, first of all, I do this for the reason that I, I grew up not getting a lot of attention. That sounds really bad. That sounds so bad. I was the I was the eldest child in my family and my my brother was the naughty one in the family and my little sister was daddy's mummy's little girl in the family. So between my brother's behavior and my sister, like I was the eldest. I could take care of myself like Sure thing, so off you go, you're fine, whatever. So yeah, they paid a lot more attention to my brother and sister than they did to me. You know, I didn't get validation when I was younger, so I crave it now as an adult. And there, there are ways to get it, there are ways to get it, but I don't do the ways to get it, which so doesn't really help me either. So I all constantly compare myself to posting my work on Tumblr and comparing my work to, you know, it doesn't get as many notes or likes or whatever as other people's does. I don't actually do it so much on on, um, on AuthorTube, really. But uh, the big ones where I share my, my work, my personal work, my writing, they're the ones where I'm really very sort of like, oh, why is this person getting more attention than me? And it's attention, it's attention seeking. I don't, I don't go and attention seek. I crave the attention, but I don't go out and say stupid stuff to try and get it, you know? And, but yeah, I wish I didn't do it so much. I'm trying my hardest not to, 
trying my hard, very, very hardest not to, and it works sometimes. It helps I don't do it on every single platform I'm on. But, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the third thing that I hate that I do in regards to writing, is that right? Is over dream. Yes, you can dream too much. I, I don't set myself very big expectations, but I dream very very big and I assume things will happen better than they do actually that is over expectation I have over expectations not personally I imagine over ex I over expectation imagine sort of thing I, I I imagine what's going to happen when I post this or I put up this video or I send off this piece of work and I over process what's going to happen and you know because I think way too far in the future and uh, when it doesn't happen the way it's gone in my head thanks brain I get stressed and upset about it and it's really stupid that I do because it's not like what I imagined was promised to me it's not like I expected it to happen like I'm dreaming it will happen but when it doesn't happen I'm like oh okay well I didn't go as I wanted it to or as I expected <sighs> let's try again next time I can't help it I'm a very very imaginative person I am constantly imagining what would happen if you know my book got an agent or my book got published or my first like panel at some sort of writing convention or this that and the other I I imagine it all I imagine all of it and I don't do any steps towards going to achieve any of this I'm imagining in my head because I procrastinate too much right you see you see where I'm getting at here and it's not too bad it's good to dream and it's good to imagine and it's good to work towards something as long as you're not overextending, you're not overexpecting, and you're not procrastinating. The fourth thing that I hate that I do about writing is not putting myself out there more. This has to do with the writing community itself. I have been writing for more than half my life, officially writing since at least 14 years old, which is when I first started writing my first but God knows what the hell it was now. And so I say that and you can you can take a guess at how old I actually am in this machine jumper and the braids in my hair. Yeah, there we go, that, that's adult me. <laughs> adult me is 18 year old me in disguise. And where was I going with this? Right, I've been writing for more than half my life. And back when I was younger, there wasn't really much of a writing community because there was no social media. My best friend Nikita pointed out to me like, you need to do social media. Like everyone's on social media now, you need to do it. And I was like, damn it, I do. So I did. And again, over expecting, having a fun time, making all these friends, these writer friends that I can talk to about my work and we'd be excited together and we could help each other and hype each other up. and. And yeah, that hasn't happened because I suck so bad at making friends. I am terrible at it. As standing by my one close friend that I have, which is Nikita, not including my husband. <laughs> I suck at making friends. I have acquaintances. I have people whose usernames I recognise who I, I like their work all the time and they like my work all the time. and casual hi hello how are you oh my god that's so sweet sort of thing that goes on so i have acquaintances within the writing community like don't get me wrong but i don't have any like real true friends and first of all is me obviously i suck at reaching out because i'm not very socially aware i don't like talking to people i'll walk around the shop for 40 minutes trying to find something before going to the nearest employee and asking them where it is if I go to that employee at all. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just find it weird to like, just go into someone's inbox and be like, hi, how are you? I love your work, let's be friends. Like, does that work? 
I don't, I don't know. I'm too scared to try. It's very, very fun. And I'll need to get over it eventually at some point this year and sort of, sort of take a stand and actually physically go out and try and actually make a proper friend. Because most of this, what I, what I hate about the fact that I write, would be pretty much avoided with actual friends. But yeah, it's all, it's all difficult and social stuff annoys me. The next thing that I hate that I don't do with writing, reading. I don't read. I complain about this all the time on this channel and no matter how many times I complain about it on this channel, I still don't do anything about it. Like, this is a book ugh, that I'm reading this month, Seed and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. And I've read the prologue, I've read it before, and that was on the 1st of January, and it's the 11th of January. Is it the 11th of January? It's the 12th of January, and uh, I haven't touched it since. I haven't touched it since. I know reading is important. I, I'm an advocate that you don't need to read in order to be a good writer. Like, you don't physically need to read. But I like, I like reading. Like, reading was my, my childhood pastime. And I want to get more into reading just as a general hobby and I'm not doing a very good job at it at all. I'm trying not very hard clearly to be more better with reading and not procrastinating and not dreaming too big and not making friends. I'm trying not so hard, I will try harder. I'm very tired. They are the things that I hate that I don't do with writing. How did I start this video? Let me know down in the comments below, what do you do with your writing that you do not like? Do you have any plans to fix or change those things? And I'll see you in the next video. Good thoughts and happy writing.